to run into a burning house is not natural for anybody. And to run into a burning house without bunker gear or anything like that to rescue someone, you're definitely a true hero. We're very fortunate also to have our officers on scene so fast that did actually rescue one of the occupants of the occupied structure that was affected by this fire. You're releasing his name? It's Officer Ward. I believe that we're very fortunate that these structures were unoccupied due to the amount of damage and the level of damage that occurred out here. Um, and we are going to rule this fire undetermined. As you can see by the extent of the damage to the original structure, there is nothing for us to investigate. We dug this structure all the way down to the dirt and there is nothing remaining for us to investigate any fire pattern to determine the origin or the cause of the fire. I believe the city is going to rebuild these structures. They're going to take these structures down, they're going to rebuild them. I love the history of this city and I love to see these kind of structures in this city. The cops. Now, as far as all the other fires that you guys have had recently around this area of the city, um, have any of them been solved? For any of those that are deemed arson? Yes, we have solved a couple. Um, there are still multiple open cases that I am working at this time, and with the frustrating part of that is just witnesses at this point is what we're looking for to solve those cases. And we're readily available to meet you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I will come out. I will speak to you. I'll talk to you in your home. I'll talk to you at Dunkin' Donuts. I'll meet you outside the city if you want to. I'm here for you, so and I need you to be here for me to help things like this and prevent things like this because it's only a matter of time before someone gets hurt.